Hi guys! Um, I don't know where I'm going with this video yet. I kind of was just like, I haven't talked at the camera in a while. It's going to be a while again, probably before I talk with you guys. Um, I am moving in August. Uh, I know that we're still in the very tail end of July, but I have a music festival and then a work trip both in the Chicago area and the day the day after I get back from those trips I am leaving. I found an apartment and I don't think I've said yet where I'm moving to, so I guess this is the reveal. I'm moving to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, <laughs> and I'm moving alone. I am so nervous and so excited to take on this new adventure. Unforeseen circumstances came up to where I will be moving and living alone. But I, you know, I've lived alone before and I am going to try really hard to fill my time with things that fill my cup and make me happy. I already know when the knitting time is, or like the knitting circle, crochet circle, whatever. I already know when that is in Minneapolis at there at the local yarn store there. I am so so excited. So this is my last weekend in this apartment. I have almost everything packed up. I am just I, I hate packing up like breakable stuff and I also still have a few more days to drink coffee. <laughs> So, uh, just those sorts of things. This weekend, I really need to finish my Lollapalooza outfits. This is ridiculous. This skirt has been taking me forever. I, you know, I don't have to put all these ruffles on, but at the same time, like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Well, and now I'm like, okay, well, I also want to make a brown sneak a peek top. And then I saw this really beautiful Henley sweater pattern. I found this account that does like free crochet. It's like a whole blog. It's really, really good. I'm, let me pull up the photo for you. Like I want this so bad. My exposure is still too bright. Uh, this is by Stitchberry. And I just, she made a reel with it and I fell in love. So I had to go digging through boxes that I already had packed up so that I didn't buy more yarn to grab. This is Lion, yeah, Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool in the colorway. This is Birch Tweed or at least like new Birch Tweed. So I found my four skeins of this and I'm definitely going to be working on this on the plane. Even though it is hot here, it is so smoky. I guess Canada's on fire, so it was like 105 degrees yesterday, and like I'm not, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to really crazy like weather, like or like really, really, really hot weather. I'm used to really, really cold weather. But I'm not used to really, really hot weather. But yeah, so I'm gonna make a sneak a peek top. Um, I have my Kona brown down there. I want to finish. I want to make that. Just because I think it would look really good with these, like, beige pants that I have. So I want to make that because, like, my friend and I kind of talked about if there aren't... So we got four-day general admission tickets to Lollapalooza. But we already, like, know what artists we want to see. And since we got, like, first sale tickets they were a bit discounted so basically our thought process is like we know which headliners we want to see we know what other artists we want to see we want to check some other people out but like 
we also maybe want to go to Navy Pier or like I've always really wanted to go to the Chicago Institute of Arts or you know so maybe we'll go exploring a little bit so I want to wear the crop top and the pants I just feel so like tired but also overwhelmed and also so excited like I got off my work call today me and my boss were talking about like my move and you know what opportunities we're going to <clears throat> start having me do once moved and stuff and I'm so 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 excited I you know sold all of my cubes R.I.P. the yarn wall uh, we'll find something new to put the yarn in it's all packed up right now and I think the thing that kind of worries me the most is uh, the space it is a 400 square foot one bed one bath apartment and I have so much stuff I really really do and it, that's another thing like I've really tried to work on my spending habits and stuff while living out in Rapid and I do feel like I've got it under control and then when moving I'm going to be in more of a walkable area that's like really close to a grocery store and a coffee shop and you know some stuff where out here I absolutely would have to drive to go get it and I think driving just leads to me driving places that I shouldn't and spending money that I shouldn't <laughs> so you know maybe having more at least like food essentials near me could help me curb that spending a little bit I don't know maybe I'm just like really 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 excited for what my life could potentially look like out there and I don't want to have a whole lot of expectations of like oh my god all my problems are gonna be solved because like no I moved out to rapid at a very vulnerable place or at a very vulnerable time in my life and I will always have love for my best friend for letting me move in with her <laughs> I was gonna say I'll always have love for Rappi but I won't I really won't um living here has been such a test of my patience of my willpower um it's been a test of my heart <laughs> this is not a place for the f faint of heart to live it is not a fun time if you have like a boat and enough money for the upkeep of said boat or ATVs or four wheelers or like all those outdoor things that's great but there's really not a whole lot of like community building to be had out here and it is like really sad because this is a beautiful area but let me tell you like I have met very few like kind people here I don't know where all the single women are <laughs> and I don't like I mean that and like to like make friends where like I don't know but rapid has not been a fun place to live I'm very excited to be getting out of it I went to Minneapolis for a couple days saw some friends because I do have like friends that live in the city that I like went to high school with or been like lifelong friends saw my family and it just felt right and it's so funny because when I was 18 I hated Minnesota and I think it's more just like you have that disdain for your hometown when you're a new adult and you're like I want to get out of here I want to go see the world which I feel like I have done a lot of, um, not the whole world, but I mean, I've lived in quite a few places in the Midwest and it is something. And I feel like I really did fall in love with like everywhere that I was except for South Dakota. Like it really, t I lived in Sioux Falls for about two years and it took me a long time to really like fall in love with Sioux Falls, let me tell you. But eventually I did and I found like really good community but it felt like everywhere else I went, I was just like, wow, this is so cute and quaint and kind of lovely. Um, other places that I've like lived throughout my short <laughs> adult life have been like 
um, a very small town in Illinois, very small town in Indiana, both for internships, uh, Madison, Wisconsin, and Waukesha, Wisconsin. And everywhere I was, like, I really fell in love with everything, except for, like, my first college. I really didn't fall in love with that. It's got a special place in my heart now. Um, hindsight's always twenty twenty, of course. I really loved Brookings. Brookings is a great place to go to college, but, like, post-grad living in South Dakota has been very, very difficult. It is just a different way of living out here. It is, and that's not to say that it's bad, it's just, for me, it obviously is not working out, you know? I just want to be, I knew I wanted to be somewhere that there were more people who were open-minded, like myself, wanting to learn and grow and change and just, like, do things. I feel like a lot of the time I ran into people not wanting to ever do anything. I am not here to judge other people's life choices. That's their life to live. I'm almost done packing. I have until Tuesday to be all packed up. As you can see, all the art is off my walls. Uh, I need to take the lights down, but I actually like use those every single day. <laughs> what I really need is like a bedside lamp. <laughs> what are some things I've learned over like the past nine months living here? I feel like I've really learned to center myself in my life and in like not the pursuit of a relationship. I did date a little bit out here, but it was definitely like the hardest place I've ever dated. Um, I think just because I don't mesh with the the local think tank, which is fine. Um, it just, I, I'm a very intense person and, you know, someone who brands themselves as a little bit more chill. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be like fire and ice and just not, you know, work out, which is fine. I think the biggest thing is I knew that I wasn't wanting to be here long term. But I was like excited to be living with my best friend again. And of course it it's amazing. It's always amazing to like live with her. Her her and I have lived together many of times throughout our short adult lives now and maybe we'll come back together again. We're not quite sure where life's going to lead us at this point. And it's scary. <laughs> I it's so funny cuz like I am going to be living somewhere where I actually know so many people for the first time in my adult life. I left Minnesota at 18 and I really never went back and lived. Um, a couple summers in college, I like had an internship one summer and then the summer between freshman and sophomore year when I transferred from Carroll to SDSU. But it'll be different fully living there. I'm excited to live in like a walkable community and I really hope that I get to experience like some fall. <laughs> I feel like I haven't experienced a fall in since I started my like adult job since that's when like the busiest season is for us. But at the same time, you know, living in a prairie climate, there just aren't as many like forests and stuff. Um Right outside my window here, which I know is like down, there's like this dip, because I live at the top of a hill, um, there's like this dip of trees, but they're all evergreens, so they're beautiful in the winter time. That was, that is a view I am going to miss, is like being able to look out and like see all those trees, and especially when they were all coated in white, oh my god, it was so good, but I'm not going to miss the pollen that came with them, oh my gosh, that was... <laughs> that was part of my spring cold. Oh, it was awful. Words cannot describe how excited I am to be somewhere. Like when I went and toured apartments in Minneapolis, it was one of the best experiences of my entire life. Everyone was so friendly. Um, I know that obviously they're trying to like sell you a place to live, but I've toured apartments, you know, having to live in them as an adult and stuff and they just these people were so 
nice and kind and fun to talk to and I just like feel like I haven't gotten socialization from other like young people other than my best friend whom I live with in so long. <laughs> I feel like I've been like shut up in this apartment for nine months and obviously I've gone out I go to Walmart and like when I first moved here we like went out a little bit more but we've just like realized that like it's not I don't know we're getting older and there aren't new people to meet or new experiences to be had out here we kind of feel like we've done a lot of what we could do and that's not to say that people shouldn't live out here. It is a beautiful place to be. It's just not it's just not my place and that's okay. I just I've had a lot of really bad experiences with like people out here. Um my parents came out here a couple weeks ago now. And a lady like in Walmart nearly ran my youngest sister over with a cart in in the Walmart just and then had the audacity like tried to run her over and then had the audacity to like scoff at her I my family wanted to go see that there's a slice of the Berlin Wall here which is pretty cool it was donated in memory or like um yeah kind of in memory but like it's still there it to what's the word it, it was donated in appreciation for the Ellsworth Air Force Base that's out here, which is really cool. Like, that's such a cool, like, historical marker to have here. Especially because my parents just went to New York and saw the piece of the Berlin Wall there. So, like, you know, a very cool experience. And the minute I walked out of, I got out of my car, my squirt had ridden up a little bit and a woman decided to, like, shout at me that I was apparently flashing. Because maybe one eighth of one of my booty cheeks was, like had fallen out or like my skirt had ridden up because it's a little big on me and I'm just like can you mind your own business people like when I'm out and about will say like horrendous things to me like about how I dress or I act or I think and I just need to be somewhere that's I think a little bit more accepting and I'm excited to be in that place it's so hard because I really came here with like an open mind and an open heart and I think, you know, maybe it is just that I met the wrong people, but it's very hard to, like, quote-unquote, meet the wrong people over and over and over again. I think anybody would feel discouraged in an area having, you know, the same experiences that I did. I don't know. Like I said, it's great for the people who love it. It is not great for me. <laughs> I just, I'm so, I, like, that's just what I feel like I keep writing in my journal. That's what I keep saying to my parents and... I'm, I am really excited to be near them for the first time in my adult life. I don't have to take off extra days. I don't have to take extra days off work to, to drive. I don't have to worry about not seeing my family on Christmas because of the weather. Not to talk about dating too much, but like I could potentially date people who think like me. I don't have to, you know, because I know that some people it like doesn't matter to them or it does matter. Like it does matter to me. But obviously I've been dating in a conservative state for the past 10 years, so that's like difficult. And I've been told that I'm wrong and that I'm stupid and all this stuff. And like, I, obviously you're not going to agree with everyone 100%, but like, it'd be nice to date someone who's, who thinks like me. Or at least, you know, we align a little bit more in our morals and our thought processes. Me and my ex used to have crazy, not like crazy fights, but like we would have these like discussions and tiffs about stuff and I just will never understand some thought processes and that's okay sometimes it's not for me to understand you know but yeah I do think I've got a few videos planned for the weekend I want to do my July reading wrap up. I just have to write down my thoughts on all the books I read. I think I read like 10 or 11 books in July. Uh, I read 11 books in July. Wow, that is my best reading month so far. That's so cool. I was hoping to like get a few more done, but I've been listening to Sawkill Girls by Claire Legrand and it's good, but it's just I don't know how to explain it like some books are bingeable and some you just are like okay let me like take my time with this 
and so Sock Hill Girls is more of like a spooky YA and it takes place on an island called Sock Hill and there's just like kind of like this curse like really old magic type stuff at play and, and these people are trying to like break the curse and all this stuff. It's very good. It's very like engaging, but I don't know what it is. It's just not one that I can like, yeah, I'm going to sit and I'm going to listen to the rest of it. I'll listen to like 20 minutes and I'm like, okay, cool. Let me like put that down for a bit. I'll just, you know, do something else now. And I don't know why that is. It doesn't, I wouldn't say that it's like a bad book by any means. I do want to finish and I want to see what happens. Cause like it is like that. And then I have another book by Claire Legrand all packed up now but it's called Ecstasia and I think it's about a cult like I really like the writing style I think um you know maybe this first book just isn't fully for me but they had this one on audiobook and not the other one which is why I purchased that book in a physical copy but I only have three books besides my kindle that aren't like packed up right now I have Daisy Hates the Great Undoing Magnolia Parks, Into the Dark, and then Era Fire, which is the third or fourth book in the Throne of Glass series. And then I've got my Kindle, which does, I mean, I do have a few books that are available on Kindle Unlimited. Because um, I'm reading Pucking Around by, I want to say it's Emily Roth? Emily Rath. I was really close. Um... I am actually liking that. Um, it's absolutely like easy, very bingeable, very like, I don't know. I don't really read sports romances. The only sports romance I've read is Powerless by Elsie Silver, which is funny because like Chestnut Springs is very like small town and like that one still gives like some small town vibes, but it's not, it's not quite the same. Like it definitely has a different vibe than the other books. Um, I also read Swift and Saddled and I really, really liked it. I think it's in getting some more mixed reviews because like Ada is not a perfect female main character, but like Weston is. And so a lot of people are like, I don't understand why they're together. And I'm like, I do. Cause like, I feel like I very much related to Ada. I really, really liked her. I Could we have the conversation of like, oh, we need to heal ourselves. Yeah. But also like there are some traumas that like Sometimes we need help with our traumas, and if somebody wants to love us through that, like, that, who doesn't want that, you know? I don't, that's just kind of how I feel about it, I guess. If there's, obviously, all, like, book stuff is subjective. That was a book I could binge. I also like how, um, who's the author of those ones? Lila Sage, Lila Sage. I love how her writing is very much, it's good and it's concise. I, I like how, you know, we have depth to our characters and we're able to like create these narratives with these nicely fleshed out characters, but we don't take forever to do it. I think it's really, really refreshing because we just don't see nowadays, like specifically romance books that aren't like feels like 400 pages like a minimum now. The second one, I listened to it on audiobook, but it was only like seven hours, which I think is around like 250 pages or like under 300, I'm pretty sure. So honestly, that was like really, really refreshing. I'm really excited to, for the last one. It is funny how in the set, in the first book, like we really, really villainized the oldest brother of the three. So like there's Gus, Weston, and then the youngest is Emmy, who's the girl. Um really like villainized Wes or not Wes uh Gus and now we're just like oh you know like he's a really good guy he's a really good guy <laughs> and I'm just like mm. I also think we got some really good like easter eggs in this book to set up the third and fourth book which I think is pretty cool um I don't know I'm just I'm excited I'm really excited the last one I think comes out around my birthday, which is cool too. God, I'm just so excited to have my own space again. I have thought a lot in my head about, so I started my channel when I was living 
with my ex-partner and he really like helped encourage me that man didn't do much right but he did do that which I do appreciate um and like kind of gave me the confidence to start my youtube channel and I'm like honestly kind of forever grateful for that but I've always thought a lot in my head like oh I wish I had started when I was living alone and now the thought of like being able to film whenever I want, film whatever I want because it's my own space. I know I've filmed a little bit in our common spaces, but it, it still does feel weird. Like those, those are shared spaces and I know that that's like kind of a private thing for a lot of people, you know? So, I don't know. But I don't have a couch. I don't have a couch. I, I'm getting rid of my bed frame. I'm getting a new bed frame. I got rid of my desk. I'm getting a new desk. I want to get a standing desk. How many times can I say desk? I'm so excited for this new adventure. I've been prowling <laughs> Facebook Marketplace like and sending it to Minneapolis. And then I also joined like my neighborhood's like free buy nothing Facebook group. And people are always posting stuff on there and I'm like, wow, okay. Cool, like this is this is really nice. <laughs> and I'm hoping to get more into like my small business again. Like it really, not that I like took a ton of time off, but uh, cause I've always been posting and stuff, but I really do want to like sell my products and focus on tutorials and different things. I don't know, there's just like so much I want to do. And I think maybe just living on my own will help afford me to the time to do that. I just gotta make sure to come up for air sometimes. I'll have to leave my apartment. But I am so, so, so excited for this journey that I'm about to like go on. I also think I'm gonna get another cat. <laughs> I'm so excited. I want Brew to have a friend so badly. Things were really feeling hopeless at the beginning of July. I had like a very bad depressive spell, like one of the worst that I've had in my adult life now. And it felt like, you know, the sun was shining, but I felt like I would never almost be like warm again. And I'm so excited to feel like there's light at the end of this tunnel, finally. I know that in life, you know, I made this choice to move here and I don't regret it. I will never regret these times living with my best friend because, you know, they're, you know, she could get married in a year and then, you know, we'd never live together again unless I am bumming on her couch or something, you know, there's so much that can happen in life and I will never regret being able to like spend more time with her. So no, I don't regret moving to Rapid City, but I think part of it is realizing, you know, this place isn't for me and it's time to go. It's time to go and build a life that I wanna live, that I'm excited to live. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this like crochet and chat. I think I might, try and do more of these in lieu of like the get ready with me's i really do love makeup i do and i will continue to make them if you guys tell me you want them but i think with the you know branding of my channel and the content that i want to make more crochet focused stuff um i think a crochet in chat just like makes more sense for me i did get one ruffle done i know i kind of like kept picking it up and setting it down but any friend that any like close person in my personal life will tell you that like that's what I do on FaceTime I like pick stuff up I work a few stitches and then I put it down and then I do the same thing over and over and over again <laughs> I don't know if it's like a distraction thing I don't know but I think I'm gonna finish Harry Potter the Prisoner of Azkaban and probably watch the Goblet of Fire tonight because I saw that all of the Harry Potter movies are back on max and I have a bubbler that I'm drinking because I slept for four hours after work. I was like so 
tired I'm not sure why I was so tired but like I really I, I want to get this skirt done tonight and then tomorrow I can worry about like weaving in ends and stuff also please bear with me I do still have some videos that are going to be coming out and I'm going to be saying things like oh my god it's already July and all this stuff um bear with me I do have like videos and backlog that I do I took time to film and I really do think that they're good and I don't know I think every time I film something it's me kind of like honing this craft and you know wanting to make good and engaging content for you guys I'm also I know how I am I'm a little goblin so like anything that like some of my favorite creators put out I will watch and so if you're like that let me know because <laughs> like I don't know this is this is fun for me and I really enjoy like having you guys around and in my life and yeah so like I said let me know if you liked this video by giving it a like or subscribing to the channel comment down below uh different topics you want me to talk about I could tell you more about like the moving process and kind of like the money associated with that or I could tell you I could tell you some ugly truths or you know I could talk more about like the places that I've lived with like my internships and all that stuff just ask me questions ask me questions i would love to like do a q a style video but yeah i will see you guys next time bye